everybody and welcome once again to Daniel and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we're going to look at programmable, dro programmable drones from Pneumaticraft. Repressurized. So let's start with that one, shall we? So the first thing we're going to have a look at is actually I forgot to do something last episode. So with the logistics configurator we can have a right click this one and we can see I've got on this one, you see it's slightly green because this is actually the default frame. Uh, let's have a look at the different frames. I think they are just on the second page. Yes. So we've got a, a logistics default frame, which is basically a store for everything else. Or Although it sort of, I think it provides as well as, um, yes, it's a provider as well. But it's the, where everything else goes to that hasn't got another place. And we've got the storage for, frame as well. I could put a yeah, storage frame on here or um, the default storage frame. So what's going to happen is the coal's now going to be get taken out of here and get passed over to this thermo pneumatic processing plant here to keep the coal into stock. So if we have a look at this processing plant now, you see it's got 64 coal and it's full up with plastic or LPG, which will make the plastic that we need for the um, that comes into here. I think it's turned off at the moment because it uses quite a lot of power. But I could turn it on again and we make some more, but we've got enough plastic for now. So, so that's what I forgot to do last time. So this time, let's go and have a look at the, the programming of these things. I've made all the components, so all the pieces that we need, and I made some with a few extra ones. So let's have a look at this. The recipe is always the same, and I've got 16 green programmable pieces because these are areas and positions. And the recipe is it's basically it's all of these have got a printed circuit board, and it's got eight pieces of plastic around the in the chest formation around it. Same recipe for every single one. The other one that's quite we'll use quite a few of are the item filter ones. Well, it's, there's more than one type, but the, the item filter one gets used up quite a lot. So let's come along here and set up a program. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make some grass and I'm going to get one of these drones to break it. Actually, I should have put this one down, but I wanted to show you something else. This one's got six item life upgrades. I forgot to do that. We'll do that in a minute. First of all, we're going to make these GPS tools. We're going to turn these GPS tools into the area ones, so the advanced tool. This becomes the area tool as opposed to a position, because you're always dealing with areas. So then I've got two of those, and we can basically come along here and give one of these a position. So for example, if I right-click this, that sets up position one on the chest. Now the chest will open when I right-click it, so after I press shift, and then I can right-click it. And then I can left click it for the same position on two. And you'll see on the bottom of the chat bit, you can see the two positions. So now we can program this robot. So what I want this robot to do is I actually, that's not quite right, do I? Let's make some, let's put down some, um, some grass. So let's just, that's the empty one. This is the one with the position. We're going to dump stuff later on. So let's put down uh, some bone, a bone meal in area here, for example, over here like that. And you see it's, it's producing some, some grass and what I do want to do this is a typical pollution thing you get a minecraft flower this time the oxide daisy and some grass so what I'm going to do is just set up a little area and to do that I'm going to use a slime block here so I'm going to set the slime block to being say here on one corner and I'm going to set this to the first position by right clicking the block here and you'll see it's now set to this position point one I can break it with and so we can break it very easily with just a hand because it's a slime block Let's come over here and set another position on this corner here like that. And then left click this and then we have this area being displayed here. You move it out to you and it's gone. So now we have the area that we want to dig up. So let's do this first of all. So we need a start piece. You always need to start with a start piece like this. And you put it in here. And you'll notice it's got a red border around the outside of it. And that basically means it's an error. So you, when you've got mouse over it, it tells you what the error is and it says no piece connected on the bottom so the one we want to connect to the bottom of that is a dig piece here like this dig area so we'll put this into that like that and then we'll right click this one because it says it's got an error no area specified so now we've got this piece here with an area in it so we'll just bring this piece up just click it left click it and then left click here and it will put an area piece for you like this and that's got the positions of the, the coordinates we just set up so I can drag this along to here like this and I also want to pick up from the chest uh, no I don't actually I just want to put and I filter this one next so we now need a filter and let's right click this 
and it's the closest block and digging required this is basically what it shows you what it's going to dig the area and you click the, the box here show area and we should be able to see green blocks now so what area it's going to dig up quite a few, quite a large area as it happens but but fine for our needs and then we can right click this right click that again and turn it off stop showing the area otherwise it stays on if you remove the drone it still stays on like that so I'm going to actually give this drone a name when we do it. It's, we've got one in here, it's fully charged, and it's got drain. So we're going to call this one Digger before we do anything else. So the next thing we need is a filter. So what I want to do is I want to filter grass. So you can right click this and you can specify, uh, let's match, match by block, use metadata damage values, and we search for an item. And I want Minecraft grass. And I think the one we want is that's damp grass from biomes of plenty. I think it's this one here. And I'm going to turn off the use filter uh, meta filter data here because I think that this has got a, a value on the the item. So we can then put this one down here like that, and then we can tell the robot next thing to do is go to sleep, St go to standby. So it's going to dig up all the grass, and here it is, the standby block. It's on page 7 of these things. I'm using a large font, as you can see, so you get less less items in there. And that's a programmer. So let's put, there's no red blocks, as you can see. Some very strange noises. I think probably one of the new mods that's come out. So this one here, if you look on this now, it's got a click digger, and it tells you what it's going to do. So let's just put it down and see if it does anything. Sure, and sure enough it's breaking the grass as you can see but it left the flower so let's pick up digger now so you can simply right click him with, right -click him with, with the um, wrench and I'm going to move the wrench out of my hand otherwise it'll, <laughs> it'll move this around so there are other items in here we can add so we can actually concatenate the filters so you can take this filter here and then right click this one and say let's search for an item um, and I think we want Oxide Daisy, or maybe just any sort of flower. I'm not sure which one. We could put, for a typical, would be dandelions. Red flower, yellow flower. What does it say about Oxide Daisy? Is a, a red flower. Okay, so we could specify a red flower in here. Flower red. Like that. And then press Escape. And then we don't need to match by a block. And, and we, I think we can turn off the metadata as well press escape escape and then we've got this one put in so we can do another one we can do the yellow flower dandelions is a classic so we can come along here and right click this one and search for an item and so we'll search for a flower again a dandelion so we can right click that and specify that one so that one's done i think we just enough metadata i'm not 100 sure we'll find out in a second so that's this drone now program so this is the drone that's the wrong one I thought it would have got the name Digger on it, actually. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. There's Trigger. So we can program this again by left-clicking that and move this out of the way. So we can then put this one down like this. And this time it should go up and, and break that flower, which it has done. Now, all I need to know is bone another area of, of grass. And we should get some more. It should go back into action again. So let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah. And it was fast too. So it's broken everything and put everything down. But it's left the area here with bits and pieces in it. It hasn't done anything with those. The next thing we're going to do is we'll pick it up again. Well, I've got my inventory now full. I'll put it into this. Oops, I'll try again. Put it into this chest. I always forget to do that, of course. Let's get rid of these flowers. I want the drone. I want the grass. I don't want the upside daisy. And I'll put my helmet on as well. It gives me another space of inventory, if nothing else. So let's look at this now. So the next thing we can do is we can actually go and tell it to pick up items. And here we are, that's a place block. This is the right block. And one of these blocks, this one here, pick items. So we can take this one, drag it onto the screen here. So then it needs, obviously going to need an area. So we'll move this one out of the way because it's going to go on underneath this one. Like that. So we right click this one. 
it doesn't really show you anything at the moment it just says show area well there's no area specified because that's why it's red so you can take this piece here which has got an area that we would like to, to do and we can middle click this one and then drag it down to this one here like this and then it shows this area so it's going to pick up the items and then what we would like to do is we'd like to put those items into this chest so here's a chest here export this into a chest like that and then we can go back to sleep again oops i've got a hold on a second let me just i can't do it i can't drag that oh yes i can it wasn't dragging for a second but now it's dragged now everything's positioned let's just rescale this a bit smaller so we can see it in com a complete picture so this one's red and actually if we put this drone in here where's digger gone to put it in here it says it's also it gives you a red bar around here as well so that also tells you if you look if you click this one it says cannot one error found so it's actually error so you know what the problem is so you can then simply take this area again and we want to specify the other one so this is the position of the box here so let's left click that and put it on here and then put this onto this one here so it's then going to go to this chest and then it's going to go to sleep so let's see if this works Let's dig it. Oh, yes, we have to program it into that, take it out, and put it down. Now, it's not going to do anything for the time being because it's got nothing to break and we've picked up everything else. So, all we need to do is bone wheel some more grass and hopefully it'll go and do what I think it should be doing. Now, it's going to go back over and hopefully it's going to come in here and it drops the items in there. And then it's going to pick pick up the next item and drop it into there and you see that one picked up a red tulip that's actually also called flower red and that one i don't know what it dropped in i think it probably dropped in a dandelion or a poppy i can do it here again this time it's going to come along with <laughs> i didn't see that either but maybe you did see it so it's picked up all the items it's going to go back to the chest and sit itself down again so it can put it we can do this do, do that do that one more time and see what that does so this time it's got a dandelion in there don't want that in my hand do I? so it should pick up we've got 12 dandelions now we've got 13 dandelions so it picked up the dandelion sat on the chest and went back to sleep until we do that again so that's going to save power so the next one was to set up a farmer so let's take this and before I have set up a farmer I'll just break this one and come back in a few seconds right what I've got is this drone here and it's actually got some upgrades in it it's got nothing it's got no program in here at all so look at this I've actually got a light item upgrade five magnet upgrades and two range upgrades I'll have to look at what the range should be is and what the range upgrade does because i'm not 100 percent sure and the magnet upgrades allow us to basically pick up items which is probably quite good for a farm so the first thing we need to do with the farm of course we need to put down the start block so we'll do that one and then we want to do basically we need to go to an inventory and pick up a hoe it tells me somewhere in in the documentation that's export to an inventory so that's export to an entity this is an import from an uh, from an inventory so we come along here and put the import one in here so what we want to import we have specify filter again so let's go to the filters i think that's page one like this and what we're going to import is a hoe so we can right click this one and select hoe search for item hoe. and i'm going to pick up a, an iron hoe like this one they all have different uh, IDs, so you can't use the different types. So you've got to specify one type of it. Of course, I could put in multiple filters like I did last time to do that one. And then we need an area again. So we're going to use the one with the box. This is this one here, like this. So let's come along here and put that one there. Oh, actually connected in straight away. That's great. You can always tell when things are connected by moving the moving the start piece, like such like that. So this is going to basically come along here, pick up a hoe. So then there's a harvest puzzle piece in here, which is this one here, harvest. So we can put this down here. 
And of course, we're going to have to specify an area for the harvest because it tells us no area specified. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the piece with the, the two, this one here. We want to wipe out the pattern. I'm not exactly sure the best way, but one way to do it is like this. Split that into two and put it back in again like that. And then you've got everything set to zero and zero. So let's go and harvest this area. So let's start here on this wheat, uh, on this barley over here and right click that. So position one. It actually took the thing, but I think it left program. No, it didn't. Let's try that again. Right, that's position one. So I, so that's that first position. And this last position will be over here, so like this. But what I would like to do is just to put it down one piece if I can. That's a full block. So let's left click that and then it gives you the whole area that we're going to farm. Okay, so we've now got the area that we want. Let's come along back to the programmer here. We'll give this one a name as well before we forget. Oh, well, I tend to forget this one. I'll call it Farmer. That's a very original name, but there we are. So we can put this one down here like that, and then we'll specify the area here. So it's then going to farm this one, a filter here. It does tell me in here, if I right-click this, the harvest requires a hoe. So we click requires a hoe here, and then we show the area it's going to do it. And you'll see it's this area in here. And I'll remove this out of my hand so it doesn't hi highlight both of them at the same time. So the one with the, the GPS tool is um, yellow and the other one that's actually on the thing is green. Let's just click that one and stop showing the area. So that's again, it's a box and it's filled. So the next thing we're going to do, it's going to go around and it's got to pick up the pieces and put them into an inventory. Now, I think we should, we have a collect pieces here. Place, that's to place. And this is the pick up items again. So we could put that one on here. And we're going to pick up items from the same place as this. So I'll middle click this one down into that like that. So it's the same area. Could actually make this slightly bigger because the pieces may well drop outside the, the harvesting area. And then we're going to export what we've picked up into a chest like this. So I'll bring this piece across like that. I put that on the bottom and then put the area again the same area oh no I don't want that area do I I want the same area as this one here see I've got a second area in this one which I can take off here and drag off and it just basically deletes it so the one I want to do is the same chest as I've been taking the hoe from so let's take this one here middle click this and put this onto there so that's where it's going to deposit the items but I can also put a filter in here because I don't want it to basically put the hoe away. So let's put the filter down here and we'll put it on the left hand side. Oops, wrong one. Try again. I forget that sometimes. I think it's the first page, isn't it? So here we have the place item. You see you've got other things. You've got fluid items. You can do fluids as well and you can attack entities. Well, we're not doing any fighting for this for the time being. So I'll come along here. In fact, no, let's not do that. Let's just take this one. Middle click this one here. And it'll make a copy of it and then we can put this one into here like that so then you've got this is the exclude side so it's not going to pick up a nine hoe um, we're ignoring actually metadata i think we probably need to ignore metadata no we want to ignore that so we need that off so it's not going to pick it up and the same is true here i guess so we also need to do that because it's hose already damaged a little bit it's had a little bit of use so have a look at this one see it's a, it's got a durability of 217 so it's already been used a few times so let's program this drone and see how it gets on so i've got to get out of the way because i'm i'm picking up the items with my magnetic armor so he's come along here and it's duck I think I have to deposit the hoe back again to be honest with you because all these items have been harvested uh, and replanted because the, the hoe will replant them so without the hoe it won't replant them so let's go and fix this program now because it's got nothing it's got nothing it actually tells me it's got farm on that didn't notice that it hasn't picked up this wheat so let's right click this one again with the I should right click it with the wrench Let's put the hoe back in. We'll try getting the right around. Put the hoe back into the here. And what else do we get? I'm picking up items as you can maybe you can hear. 
So this time maybe we've got to fix this. I'm, I think this is the way we do it. But they have a, we have got some more levels of difficulty. We've got a medium, easy level and a medium level. And now they change the, what you actually see here. This is the seven pages and this has got 11 pages. And the ones you've got, the different ones are different colors. So let's have a look at what we've got here. So what's that a crafting component? Okay, so you can automate some crafting. But there's a conditional ones. I'm looking for the one that I would like to use for conditional ones. Drone condition items. No. Pressure condition entity. Fluid. Now what I would like to do is see whether there's any block. Conditional items. Fluids. You know, I'm not 100% sure about this. We'll have a look at this. So we need to specify any items being that, but I'm sure there's another one to pick up items to see whether it should be picked up. So before we do that, drop that down there. Let's split this up now and put the hoe back into the chest here. Now I think there's also a way to make this jump from one side to another, but I'm so far I've only discovered how to do it with conditional items. So let's go back to easy some strange noises I'm hearing at the moment in this game <laughs> so right now where's the one I want that's renamed drone weight yes of course so we need so I need the um I need the this one of course don't I export into inventory like that so let's middle click that one put it over here and then I need to export the house let's drag that down there like that and then we probably should be able to, then it's done that. So it's gone back here and it should come back in here and put this down. And that might be all I need to do for this one. Oops, did the wrong one, got the wrong area. So we need to uh, export the hoe to this place that we picked it up from. So let's do this one over here like that. So that's now okay. So let's pick up the drone. Where's it gone to? Um, I want farmer. I see one here. Oh, that's farmer. Yes, I've put the other one away. So let's program this drone now. Takes the items out of here, of course. So we've used another orange piece. So let's put this down and see what it does. Here's the hose in there. So it should pick up the hoe. Oh, it's actually even picked up the items first. And you can see they're picking that from quite a long distance. Now it's putting the, that back and picking up the hoe again. So what have I done wrong with this program? Because it's flashing the hoe. Which I don't know, to be honest with you. You can see it's flashing the hoe up here. It's trying to take it and it's trying to put it back in again. Now there's presumably a way of telling it not to do that. But it actually did farm everything. We can prove this quite nicely. Let's take some bone meal here. Uh, and just break the bone wheel, bone wheel it up. What's that one fully, f not yet, fully grown. So hopefully it'll go now and break this, replant it. Oops, I picked it up, try it again. Stand out of the way this time. In fact, no, it picked up those items and put them in the chest. And this time I didn't pick anything up. We've got 10, uh, 10, grapes in here what's what i've actually got in my inventory because the forestry bag's picking up stuff as well oh, i didn't pick up any grapes which is great so what have i done wrong with this script or program why is it now picking up items and wanting to put it back into this chest hmm I don't know. I'll look into that. I'll have a look at that for the next time, I reckon. So we've got these different levels here, and we've got advanced ones. We've got another page as well for conditions. So we're going to have a look at those next time. I'll figure out the better, a better route for doing that. There are other things we can do with this. We've got here, a, you can import and export to a paste bin. So you can upload from a paste bin, and I can save this script, for example, here. And I, and I save it, and you get this name here you can actually copy and type that when you get that program so you then uh, get from post get from paste bin and it would then retrieve this script i've just got in here once you've pressed that out gone out of it 
it disappears that link that, that's no big deal you can then do that you have to you have to create an account to save stuff but that's also not a very big deal it's free accounts for um paste bin anyway so let's have a look at that one i would have liked it to go to sleep and hopefully oh yes i did color this one white here put a bone mill on it you can color these drones so for example the other drone i put away you can take any of these drones which did that before and it's the same thing with this one as well well of course i haven't put the stock piece on the end of this maybe that's what the problem is here we go the standby piece we need a standby when it's finished and then it'll stop like this and it should stop on top of the chest like the other one did so let's go and get this drone again of course it'll drop the it'll it'll drop the thing and let's put this hoe back into here where's it gone to oh, did i did not pick up the hoe yep let's put the hoe back into there and then reprogram this drone with the, with the standby piece at the end of it I was counting these and I was thinking five. That didn't make quite sense because he uses two per program. So let's put this down again now. It's going to go and stand there and it should get the... Now it's gone to sleep. So it should wake up when there's something happens over here. So let's just bone meal something else. So we've got... We can bone meal quite easily. This wheat over here, I reckon. Picks it up, drops it in, goes to sleep again. So we've got 34 of those. I don't, and you see it's putting in and out this hoe all the time. I'm not sure how to stop that. <laughs> well, that's it for this episode. Next time I shall be carrying on with some more drones, I think. So until then, bye for now.